Did you know that the path to personal growth often starts with embracing the very challenges we try to avoid? Life isn't a straight line. It's a winding journey filled with ups, downs, and unexpected turns. If you want to unlock your true potential and transform into the best version of yourself, you need to be willing to face the difficult tasks that lie ahead. It's not just about what you achieve, it's about how you grow along the way. In this script, we'll explore the transformative power of embracing change, surrounding yourself with uplifting people, and finding strength in resilience. We'll uncover the mistakes that hold us back and debunk the myths that prevent us from stepping into our greatness. Join me as we delve into the essential steps of this journey, inspiring you to take action and thrive in a world that is constantly evolving. Are you ready to embark on this adventure of self-discovery and reinvention? Let's dive in. Number one, make the days count, not just the years. Imagine for a moment waking up with a renewed sense of excitement, where every day feels like it has purpose and meaning. It's that feeling we sometimes get when starting something new or making plans for the future. But how often does it last? Life has a funny way of pulling us into routines that eventually feel mundane. We go through the motions from Monday to Friday, weeks blending into months and years. But there's something profound about deciding not just to exist, but to truly make every single day count. This isn't about rushing to accomplish things or filling your schedule to the brim. No, it's about presence, about truly being where you are, with purpose, even in the smallest moments. Each sunrise is a chance, each sunset a reminder that time is moving forward, regardless of whether we choose to appreciate it or not. The ancient Stoics, especially Marcus Aurelius, believed deeply in making the most of every day. Time is a sort of river of passing events, and strong is its current, he wrote. No sooner is a thing brought to sight than it is swept by and another takes its place. This wisdom, carried through centuries, still speaks to us today. It's a call to not just count the years, but to make the years count. When we think back, Nostalgia often floods our minds with memories, our first job, late nights with friends, or maybe road trips with family. We cherish these moments because looking back, they had depth, a kind of timelessness we didn't even realize in the moment. What if we could bring that same energy into each day now, so we aren't just looking back, wishing we had done more, but actively creating a life we're proud of? We often hear about living with no regrets, but what does that mean in practice? It's about making deliberate choices, honoring the gift of time and showing up for life fully. Imagine each moment as a piece of a puzzle that, when put together, reveals the story of your life. If that resonates with you, imagine what your day would look like tomorrow if you decided to make it count. What would you do differently Maybe you'd finally call that old friend you haven't spoken to in years, start that hobby you've been putting off, or just slow down and enjoy a meal without distractions. The possibilities are endless, and that's the beauty of it. This perspective isn't meant to create pressure, but rather to ignite a sense of curiosity about what's possible when we live each day with intention. Who knows what you might discover about yourself in the process? Number two, embrace challenges to strengthen inner resilience. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to face life's challenges with a certain calm strength? It's inspiring, isn't it? When everything around them is in turmoil, they have this unshakable core, a resilience that carries them through storms. And it's not because they've had easier lives often, it's quite the opposite. They've embraced challenges, taken life's difficulties head on, and through that process, they've grown stronger. This inner resilience isn't something we're born with, it's something we build, one challenge at a time. Think back to moments in your own life that tested you, 
Perhaps there was a time when you had to overcome a setback at work or navigate a difficult relationship. Maybe you had to dig deep within yourself, pushing through doubts and fears. As tough as those moments were, they're part of what shaped you into who you are today. Each struggle, each time you rose up when it would have been easier to give up, you built resilience. This is the core of what embracing challenges is about. It's not about loving pain or adversity, but recognizing that they are essential building blocks for inner strength. The Stoics, especially Seneca, understood this well. Seneca believed that facing challenges voluntarily prepared the mind to handle whatever life threw its way. He would willingly face discomfort, not because he enjoyed it, but because he knew it made him stronger. Picture Seneca on a cold morning, diving into the icy waters of the Tiber River. For him, it wasn't just about enduring the chill. It was a declaration, a reminder that he was in control of his spirit. Embracing challenges in our own lives can be a similar act of empowerment. It's not about proving something to others, it's about proving something to ourselves. It's about knowing that no matter what, we can rely on our strength. Imagine what it would feel like to actively seek out a challenge tomorrow. What would you do? Perhaps there's a fear you've been avoiding or a goal that seems out of reach. Think of it not as a daunting task, but as an opportunity to shape your character. Start with something manageable, something that pushes you just outside of your comfort zone. The goal isn't to suffer, but to grow. When you embrace this mindset, challenges transform from obstacles into stepping stones. With each step, you're not just moving forward, you're building resilience, becoming a stronger, more grounded version of yourself. Number three, rebuild from within. The journey of self-transformation, transformation. It's a word that stirs something deep within us. The idea of becoming something more evolving into a version of ourselves we can truly be proud of, resonates on a fundamental level. Who hasn't wished to hit the reset button at some point to tear down what no longer serves us and build anew? True transformation, however, doesn't start with the world around us, it begins within. It's a process, not of changing who we are, but of rediscovering and refining our essence. Take a moment to think about where you are now. You're not the same person you were a year ago, five years ago, or even a decade ago. Life has shaped you, chiseled away parts of you, and added new layers. Yet just like a house in need of renovation, there are often walls we've built to protect ourselves that may now confine us. True self-transformation requires the courage to look inward, to face these walls, and to begin tearing them down. It's not simply about painting over the cracks or adding decor. It's about getting down to the foundations, fixing what's broken and rebuilding from the ground up. Imagine that your life is a house and you're the architect. Picture yourself with a hammer, a toolbox of determination and patience, ready to make this structure something that reflects your values and dreams. The process might be tough after all. Tearing down walls and gutting out old habits and beliefs can be exhausting. But with each swing of the hammer, each nail driven in, you're declaring, I am the creator of my life. It's a journey of resilience, of crafting a life that's not perfect, but meaningful and true. Reflecting on this, nostalgia might creep in. Memories of the person you once were, of times when you felt at ease, or perhaps moments when you were more carefree. Transformation doesn't mean letting go of all the past, but rather carrying forward the parts that still resonate, the values that still hold true. Think of it as bringing those cherished memories and lessons into your new design, honoring who you were while actively shaping who you're becoming. This isn't a rejection of the past, but an embrace of your full story using it as the foundation for the future. The beauty of this journey is that it's never truly complete. There's always room for growth, for fine-tuning. 
That's the wonder of self-transformation. It keeps us curious. What could you achieve if you committed to rebuilding from within? How would it feel to live in a house that truly reflects your best self? This isn't a distant dream, it's a journey you can start today, one decision at a time. Choosing to build a life that reflects your values, dreams and aspirations. Number 4. Choose difficult tasks as pathways to growth. Picture this, you're standing at the base of a steep mountain. The path is rocky, winding, and frankly, a little intimidating. But what if this mountain wasn't just an obstacle, but a path meant to build you, challenge you, and ultimately change you? Choosing difficult tasks isn't just about facing struggles, it's about purposefully inviting growth into your life. The very tasks that seem daunting are often the ones that lead to the most profound transformation. In life, it's easy to stick with the familiar, the tasks we know we can handle. They're comfortable and reassuring, but they rarely push us. Difficult tasks, on the other hand, shake us out of our comfort zones. They force us to dig deep, to find strengths we didn't know we had. Think back to a time you faced a tough challenge. Maybe it was a job change, a health issue, or an unexpected move. These challenges likely felt overwhelming, but with each step, you found a way to adapt, to grow, and ultimately, to overcome. This is the heart of growth. The Stoic philosophers knew the power of difficult tasks. Seneca once said, difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Imagine your mind as a muscle. The more you challenge it, the stronger it gets. Each difficult task is like a weight, and every time you lift it, you become a little bit stronger. But there's something beautiful in this struggle. These challenges give us stories to tell, lessons that shape us. They show us who we are and, more importantly, who we can become. Think about this. What if you made it a habit to take on one difficult task each month? It doesn't have to be grand. It could be something as simple as learning a new skill, tackling a tough project, or reaching out to someone you've lost touch with. Imagine looking back a year from now and seeing a list of challenges you overcame. Each task, no matter how small, would be a stepping stone in your journey of growth. So, here's a question for you. What difficult task could you choose today to set yourself on a path of growth? Number five, surround yourself with people who uplift you. Imagine being surrounded by people who believe in you, who genuinely want to see you succeed. There's a warmth in these relationships, a sense of encouragement that makes life a little brighter. Having people who uplift you is more than just a pleasant experience. It's essential for personal growth. We often become like those we surround ourselves with, so choosing people who inspire, encourage and challenge us can have a profound impact. Think about a friend, family member or mentor who has lifted you up during difficult times. Perhaps they encouraged you when you doubted yourself or maybe they gave you advice that stuck with you. These people are treasures, but finding and nurturing these relationships requires intentionality. It's easy to drift into friendships based on convenience, but relationships based on growth and mutual respect are far more rewarding. These are the people who remind us of our potential, who see our value even when we don't. In the words of Jim Rohn, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This may sound simple, but it's a powerful reminder to evaluate the relationships in our lives. Take a moment to think about your closest relationships. Do they support you, challenge you, inspire you? Surrounding yourself with uplifting people doesn't mean cutting off everyone who doesn't fit a specific mold, rather. It's about prioritizing relationships that nourish your spirit and encourage growth. Nostalgia often brings back memories of relationships that meant something, those rare friendships that made life a little easier. And while people come and go, it's never too late to cultivate new connections that align with who you are now. So, who are the people in your life 
who make you feel alive. Reach out to them, show them gratitude, and as you move forward, consider the kinds of relationships you want to build. Surrounding yourself with uplifting people isn't just about finding good company, it's about creating a support system that elevates your journey. Number six, stop fearing change. Embrace transformation, change. It's one of life's constants, yet it's something many of us resist. Think about how many times you've heard someone say, I don't like change. But if there's one truth in life, it's that everything is always in motion, always transforming. Embracing change doesn't mean losing yourself, it means allowing yourself to grow, to evolve, and to become. Transformation is not something to fear, but something to embrace, an opportunity to step into new versions of ourselves. Think about the seasons. Each one has its own beauty, but it doesn't last forever. The same is true for the seasons of our lives. The job you had five years ago, the friendships you cherished in school, the hobbies you once enjoyed, they all shift over time. It can be bittersweet, but it's also a reminder of life's beautiful impermanence. Embracing change means recognizing that each chapter in our lives brings something new, something that adds to our journey. One of the biggest challenges in embracing change is the uncertainty it brings. We don't know what lies ahead, and that can be unsettling. But think about a time when change brought something wonderful into your life. Maybe a new relationship, an unexpected career path, or a personal breakthrough. Those moments were only possible because you were willing to step into the unknown. Change is often the doorway to growth, to experiences that would have been impossible if you had stayed in your comfort zone. Imagine looking back on your life and seeing it as a tapestry of transformations. Each change, each shift, would be a color in the fabric of your story. And here's a thought to hold on to. What if the changes you're facing now are simply paving the way for something even better? Embracing transformation isn't about letting go of stability, it's about welcoming growth, knowing that each change is a step towards becoming who you're meant to be. Number seven, declutter your life by saying no to the inessential. Imagine walking into a space that's clean, simple, and free from unnecessary clutter. There's a sense of peace, of focus. Just as physical clutter can crowd a room, mental and emotional clutter can cloud our lives. Decluttering isn't just about organizing our spaces, it's about clearing out anything that doesn't add value, that doesn't serve us on our journey. In a world full of distractions, learning to say no is an act of empowerment. Every time we say yes to something we don't truly want or need, we dilute our focus, our energy. It's easy to feel obligated, to think that saying no might disappoint someone, but saying no is about protecting our time and space, about honoring what truly matters. It's about making room for the things that align with our values, our dreams. Think back to a time when you felt overwhelmed. Perhaps it was because you were juggling too many commitments or trying to please too many people. The feeling of being spread thin, of being constantly on the go, can be exhausting. Imagine how different it would feel to live with a sense of clarity, where each commitment, each decision, was intentional. Decluttering is about choosing a path that's aligned with who we are, one that allows us to thrive. If you could simplify just one area of your life today, what would it be? Perhaps it's your schedule, your social commitments, or even your thoughts. Imagine the peace, the freedom, that would come from letting go of the inessential. Decluttering isn't just about having less, it's about making room for more, more clarity, more purpose, more life. Number eight, stay true to your rhythms and routines. There's something comforting about routines, isn't there? The predictability, the familiarity, the sense of structure. In a world that often feels chaotic, routines ground us. They give us a rhythm to follow, a sense of stability. 
Staying true to our routines isn't about rigid schedules, it's about honoring the rhythms that make us feel whole, that support our well-being. Think about your morning routine. Maybe it's a quiet cup of coffee, a few moments of meditation, or a walk outside. These small rituals set the tone for your day, giving you a sense of peace and readiness. Routines aren't just habits, they're expressions of who we are and what we value. They remind us to slow down, to reconnect with ourselves amidst the demands of life. Nostalgia often brings back memories of simpler times, of routines that brought comfort. Maybe it was a family tradition, a bedtime ritual, or a favorite hobby. These routines become part of our story, anchors that ground us. In a fast-paced world, routines remind us of the importance of slowing down, of honoring the rhythms that bring us joy and stability. What if today you decided to be intentional about your routines, to find joy in the small moments, the quiet rituals? Imagine the peace that would come from embracing a rhythm that feels true to you. Routines aren't about productivity, they're about presence, about creating a life that feels aligned with your values, your essence. Number nine, rediscover your motivation and resilience. There's a fire within each of us, a drive that pushes us forward, that fuels our passions and goals. But sometimes life can dim that fire. Challenges, setbacks and the demands of daily life can make us forget why we started, why we wanted to pursue our dreams in the first place. Rediscovering motivation is about rekindling that inner fire, about reconnecting with the dreams and values that inspire us. Think about a time when you felt truly motivated, when you had a goal that excited you. It might have been a new job, a fitness goal, or a personal project. That feeling of purpose, of passion, is powerful. But motivation isn't something we can always rely on, it ebbs and flows. Resilience, on the other hand, is the steady companion to motivation. It's the grit, the determination that keeps us going even when motivation fades. Reflecting on past challenges can be a reminder of our resilience. Think of the times you've overcome obstacles when you didn't give up despite the difficulties. These moments reveal our strength, our ability to keep going. Motivation gets us started, but resilience is what keeps us on the path, what helps us push through when things get tough. What if today you took a moment to reconnect with your why, to remember what drives you, what makes you feel alive, Rediscovering motivation isn't just about setting goals, it's about reigniting a passion for life, a reminder that you have the strength to face whatever comes your way. Number 10. Reinvention is a journey, not a destination. Imagine life as a series of chapters, each one building on the last, each one a step in your journey. Reinvention isn't about reaching a final destination, it's about continuously evolving, growing and becoming. It's a journey, one that unfolds over time, one that's as much about the process as it is about the outcome. Think back to the moments in your life when you reinvented yourself. Maybe it was a career change, a new relationship or a move to a different city. These moments weren't just about change, they were about becoming a new version of yourself. Reinvention isn't a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey, a series of transformations that shape who we are. There's a certain nostalgia in looking back, in seeing the ways we've grown and changed. The person you were 5, 10 or even 20 years ago is different from who you are today. And in another 10 years, you'll be different still. Embracing reinvention as a journey means letting go of the need for a final destination. It's about appreciating each step, each chapter, as part of the adventure. So, where are you on your journey of reinvention? What chapter are you in? Embracing reinvention isn't about rushing to the finish line. It's about savoring the journey, knowing that each step, 
brings you closer to becoming the person you're meant to be. As we wrap up this exploration of personal growth and transformation, remember that every step you take toward reinventing yourself is a step toward a more fulfilling life. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. That's your way of showing that you're part of the elite few who are dedicated to seeing things through to the end. Your commitment to self-improvement sets you apart and showcases your determination to thrive. If you're serious about making lasting changes and embarking on this incredible journey, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Joining our community means you won't miss out on the valuable insights and inspiration we share to help you along your path. Let's navigate this journey together, transforming obstacles into opportunities and turning dreams into reality.